Welcome to the Miraculous Mom Special. Beautiful and wondrous, amazing things await you. Just keep watching. Hey everybody, this is Mirabean and I just want to let you guys know that I'm trying out something new in this video. If you haven't noticed, I have some lovely artwork that is gorgeous that I'm going to be used to convey my emotions that was actually done by an artist who submitted in my art contest named Vivian Animate. Here is her little channel thing. I think her artwork, artwork is great and I just wanted to let you guys all know what's going on. Anyway, let's get into it. So in this episode, we're going to review and theorize about the ladies of Paris. Some of them we don't know much about or uh, are MIA, missing in action. So I cannot really show you all the information. I'm just here to theorize about some stuff. Anyway, the first one that I think that we're going to do is Chloe's mom. Now, personally, I think Chloe's mom is the most intriguing one on this list. As I believe that she's the reason that Chloe will become the B girl, whether it be because of her emotional feelings or because she is the deadbeat mom coming back from wherever she ran off to to stir Chloe's emotions. Or maybe she's dead, which is a thorough possibility. The reason I think this is because Mr. Bourgeois is very overprotective of Chloe and during the Christmas scene they did have a third placemat thing. But I could just be wrong. But it is interesting to think about, you know, him raising her from a child. Or she's alive and works in Paris would just be an amazing, an absolutely amazing reason for them to go to New York. Because in New York there is going to be special there. So maybe her mom works there as like a lawyer or something. That's just my thoughts. The next mom that we are going to talk about is, of course, going to be Adrian's mom. Now, not a lot is actually known about Adrian's mom, because, but she is one of the most biggest points of speculation on, like, in the community. We do know that Adrian's mom went missing sometime between last Christmas and the beginning of the school year because Adrian said that this would be his first Christmas without her. Which leads me to believe that she went missing in some time in that about six to seven month time frame. Now I think it would be absolutely amazing if she showed up in the Shanghai episode because in the Miraculous bookcase it did have a picture of her and a brochure to Tibet. And Tibet and Shanghai are in both in China so it is a possibility that they might see Adrian's mom in the Shanghai episode which of course would be amazing. Now the next one we have is Nino's mom. Now Nino's mom is probably the one I have the least information on but in his first appearance in the bubbler um, it shows him getting rid of every adult in the city, include, which would include his own parents, which leads me to believe that maybe his parents are abusive, or maybe they're dead, or maybe I'm just overthinking this whole thing and they're on a cruise and they weren't in the city at the time that he sent everyone up. But no matter what the case, I hope we do see them in season two, which I'm pretty sure that Thomas Astrak actually confirmed it in one of his tweets, that we will see one of his family members in season two. Now next is Alia's mom, and Alia's mom actually does appear a few times in the series. She is the chef of Monsieur Bourgeois' hotel, and you can also see her as a judge in the Kung Fu Food episode. She, well, as she works for Monsieur Bourgeois, that's all we really know, and I actually don't really think that she's going to be showing up a lot in the series. I don't think she's going to play a major role. She does have you know, a family, so we might see her there and then with Alia, but other than that, I really don't think that we're going to see her very much. Next, of course, we have Marionette's mom. Now, she is one of my favorites because personally, I think that she is like the boss. She's very pretty. She has her own business and I don't know, bow down to the queen because I want her to say like this really cool quip to Marionette where she said like, oh, uh, if you don't clean your room, I'm going to go up there and look through all your private stuff, which I don't know, I thought was pretty cool. But one does have to wonder whether or not Marionette inherited her obsessiveness from her mother, as I don't think she inherited it from a dad. 
I really don't think it did because I actually really like Marionette's mom and don't think she would do that. But anyway, next on our list is Marionette's grandmother. Now, there is basically nothing to know about Marionette's grandmother, except that she will appear in the Shanghai episode, uh, The Chinese Legend. And a lot of people are actually saying that she may be a previous ladybug, but I don't think that's true because Master Fu kind of gave them it randomly. I mean, it is a pretty big quidinky dink that Adrian got it and, you know, his dad might be Hawk Moth and has another miraculous in it. So it may, I think it'd be pretty cool if it wasn't as thing. And Jeremy Zeg did tweet that a new hero will join the team in the Shanghai episode, but I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking things. Anyway, guys, I hope you do did enjoy this episode. I hope you enjoy all the new animations because I personally think that they're amazing and lovely and beautiful. But I do want your opinion on whether or not, you know, these are good. What other emotions I could add. Anyway, guys, this is it for this episode. Leave a like, you know, share, comment. Comment what you think of uh, this episode. What do you think is going to happen with all the moms, you know? Uh, all that YouTuber stuff. And let me just say this, guys. This is Mira Bean. Beaning out. Hey, everybody. This is Mira Bean. And let me just tell you, before this video starts... Have you noticed these this beautiful So yeah, all the moms were just hanging out doing their thing and I just personally believe that this doesn't make any sense and I don't know what I'm saying anymore. And I just really believe that Fours and tea and peaches in a can with extra whipped cream that hurt.